Um, let's go ahead and get started on the first question. Uh, Paulino Brenner, as he said, he said, why don't you use the Q&A app on your Hangout on Air, and what are the advantages and disadvantages? Discuss and explain. Well, here's the thing about this whole Hangout on Air thing. Uh, it's a huge learning curve, and many of us who are working on this Hangout of, uh, on Air, which includes Craig Fifield, Mia Voss, Ronnie Bincer, bunch of great people, David Oldenburg, bunch of great people really kind of pioneering this whole uh, Hangout on Air technology, which is, by the way, Google Plus's approach to live television, which we're broadcasting live right now just directly within Google Plus and YouTube. Um, this uh, this Q and A section is different. They have there's a couple nice things about the Q and A. Uh, first and foremost, the Q and A app when you launch it, he's referring to the Q and A app. I can I can make it so when people launch this event, they can post a question, and then I can select that question, and I can answer it, and then I can deselect it. Now the reason that app is nice is because if somebody asks a question and I don't get to it before they leave it'll automatically drop the question from my feed so that I don't answer a question to somebody who's not there. Um, another great feature of the standard Q&A is that it um, will allow people to uh, come back later and when they're watching the event after the video is over they can actually click on the question and it'll bring them straight to that point on the video where that question was answered. Um, and that's one. Those are two of the biggest advantages of Q and A. Now, when we come to disadvantages, because I traditionally used the Q and A app for Hangouts on Air, uh, the d major disadvantage of the Q and A app is that it doesn't get the feed from everywhere, and people get confused. Okay, they get just really. Con they don't. They're trying to post the question in four different places. They don't really know where to go. It's not exactly clear how to use it, and so really only a small group of people would get their questions answered, which kind of drove me nuts. Uh, because I just didn't want it to be isolated. Now I'm using the comment tracker at the recommendation of actually more like the dictated you must use this of uh, David David Oldenburg, uh, Mia Voss, and Ronnie Bincer. They're like, why are you using the Q&A app? And, and after that, they finally got me on this. And now I can monitor what's kind of cool is I can monitor the questions from the event page like we are right now. And we're mon I can monitor them from YouTube. I can monitor them from my hashtag, hashtag Craig Minions, so I can kind of monitor everything that's going on all over the place right here in my feed. And then I can do what I just showed you here, which was pin your question up here, which is kind of cool. I kind of like that. And then uh, when it's all said and done, I can unpin it and be done because I just answered your question. Uh, but, yeah, I, I do prefer at this point, I do prefer this uh, comment tracker quite a bit more. They were right. <laughs> yes. Yes, they were right. I, I'm, I'm glad they talked me into using it. So, um, good stuff.